Hey there, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Hey friends, we wanted to jump in here uh, before the start of this week's video and just make a really awesome special announcement. It's a big special announcement. We are giving away a hat with this video and it's going to require a little bit of work on your part. You're going to yeah. have to watch and count the number of times you see Sasquatch or Bigfoot or, Bigfoot. or a picture of Bigfoot in this video and count those up and then put your comment at the end of the video, how many times you saw Bigfoot in the video. And also to be eligible to win the hat, you have to subscribe to our channel. Yep. And comment. And comment. And we also have a Facebook and an Instagram page and you can comment on either one of those. And it's Mountain Beaches on both of them. Easy to do, just comment on that, how many times you've seen Bigfoot on this video. Right, and we will announce the winner sometime in the middle of August. It gives you a little bit of time to try and figure it out. Some are real easy to find. Ooh, mosquitoes. <laughs> uh, he is kind of sneaky sometimes, yeah. that Bigfoot, so you have to be paying attention right from the get-go. Yeah, there's, there's a reason he has not been found yet <laughs> so be watching comment subscribe and win an awesome hat from mountain beaches now on with the video bye bye <laughs> hey friends it's a beautiful day and i'm going camping with my grandsons We're here at the grocery store with uh, my grandsons. We're getting ready to go in and get our supplies for our annual Bigfoot camp out. And we're gonna get some good eats. So let's go shopping. What'd you get? Uh, a maple log and then whatever this is. Oh, a twist. Yeah. A maple log and a cinnamon donut. Maple log and a cinnamon donut too. All right. Good job. All right. You think we got enough food here, guys? Uh, I think so. Yes. <laughs> I think this will last us for more than the two days we're going to be camping. All right. Let's go pay. Ready? Okay. Good. Okay, 120 bucks later, we got groceries. Yep. You checking the list twice, making sure we got everything? Okay. And there's the Dachshund. Okay, we have almost a major disaster. Disaster averted. We were buying our groceries and they forgot to give us the bacon and the hamburger that we had paid for. Forgot to put it in our bags. And how can four men survive without bacon and hamburger? So we had to go back in and uh, have them get us some more. Now we're on our way. Well, we got a bit of a late start. Okay. And uh, now we're all hungry for lunch. So we're stopping at Wendy's. Number one, what do you want to drink? Water. Just water? I'll get the number nine, the 10 piece thing nuggets. Okay. What you getting? Raspberry lime high C. Raspberry lime high C. Hmm, interesting. Really good.
Okay, so we made it. We're here at Willow Flats Campground in Idaho. And we are in Campsite 5, right there. We got the trailer all set up. It's ready to go, blocked and level and ready to go. Let me give you a, let me give you a little view of our campsite. It's, it's a pretty cool campsite, right on the creek. So we hear the, the rushing water as we're here in our camp. Can you hear it? It's awesome, love this campsite. We've stayed in this one several times in the past, but it's usually, uh, it's usually taken. So you come back in here, and there we have a, there's the creek. This merges in with another creek on the other side of the campground and forms a bigger river for fishing. And the boys were looking forward to fishing, but I guess I, uh, didn't bring my fishing reel. I brought, I had a pole. I thought it was in the trailer and we bought some worms and I bought a fishing license. We were all set, but no fishing line or fishing reel. So that's no fun. We'll figure out something else. They'll have a great time. We're here for two nights and uh, let me just kind of show you our campsite. So there's the creek and it's a big site, nice table, lots of trees, afternoon shade, Another a little campfire area over here. So yeah, what do you think? Ready to move to Idaho? Or at least come here camping? This is about a 45 minute drive from our home in, uh, in Utah. Northern Utah, and I am being shadowed by a Dachshund. Hello. <laughs> the bathroom These... isn't even that gross. Oh, that's good. The bathroom is not even that gross. I that... have flushable toilets. Flush toilets. Woo and soap. Soap. Wow. Look at this. We're right here with some wild roses in our campsite. This is going to be a fun two days. And uh, what do we usually do when we come up here? Fish. Hunt for what we can. Big foot hunting. Big foot. Big foot. For those of you that don't know, that is the official Bigfoot call, mating call. And uh, it attracts Bigfoot for capture. And that's what we do when we come up here, we, we hunt Bigfoot, so we're ready. So these campsites for the single sites, they have a few double, but the single sites are $17 a night. And with my senior pass, uh, they're only $8 a night. So two nights for $16, can't beat that. No hookups, but just lots of beauty. Lots to do up here. We're looking forward to some hikes and uh, Bigfoot. some Bigfoot Olympics some Bigfoot hunting, and eating lots of good food. Tonight, what are we having, guys? What's it, what are we having? Spaghetti! Okay, that's more like it. So just kind of chilling here, relaxing for a bit. The boys are off exploring. I, I wanted to give you an update on the command strips that we use to uh, fasten our pictures and wall decorations. That stuff is amazing. Nothing, nothing has budged at all. It's all tight and still sticking to the wall really well. And that was a, that was a good move. Highly recommend you utilizing the command strips if you want to put some decorations on your wall. They come in different weight ratings, you know, like six pounds, nine pounds, 12 pounds. And, you know, it doesn't hurt to overdue I guess on the weight rating but what we put on our walls this was a pretty good test this was the first test actually but uh, 45 minute drive not a real long drive but over uh, some washboard roads dirt roads and everything is rock solid connected where it was couldn't be happy happier so good stuff with those command strips right now 
we're enjoying this uh, beautiful afternoon here at Willow Flats Campground outside of Preston, Idaho. Oh, yeah. Put it in right from there. All right, here they are. Enjoying some dinner. How is it? Good. Okay. Some people might consider it roughing it when you go camping, but not in our family. Just another excuse for a good meal. We got some spaghetti, salad, French bread, and corn on the cob. And it's a good thing you're wearing your red shirt because it blends in with the spaghetti sauce. Look at that good looking shirt. <laughs> it's not a camp out until you have s'mores. Mm. Oh, it didn't get on like that. Safe. I need some, uh, need chocolate on chocolate. that. Chocolate. It's good. It looks like it's gonna fall off my skin. Yeah. Just needs a good spot. Get lower. All right, this is an annual tradition that me and the grandsons have. We go Bigfoot hunting, and that's what we're doing today. We are on the trail. We are looking for Sasquatch. <laughs> We've seen some signs of him already. Spot where he maybe bedded down for the night last night. Now we're going up on this, this hike up to the uh, spring. See if we can spot him. Should we give uh, our uh, our chant, our call, our Bigfoot call. Uh, Ready? Yeah. Bigfoot! 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 Big All right, if we're back on camera in a little bit, you know we haven't died. Checking out for now. It really is a beautiful little trail. It's a pretty easy hike. It's maybe about a mile. Follows along the, the river that comes from the spring. There's usually tons of butterflies right in this area. Maybe it's up a little bit further. There's usually a ton of them just on the trail sunning themselves, but doesn't look like well, there's a few up here. Not as many as usual. Any signs of the Bigfoot yet? Right there. Oh, we've spotted a sign. Many people do not realize it, but Bigfoot uses downed trees as toothpicks. And believe me, that water is freezing cold. It's worth doing. Lots of spots you can rest. 
like this right here. Look at this. Okay, we made it. We are at the head of the river where the spring comes out of the mountain. I hope you can hear me. It's really loud. But look how beautiful that is with the water just coming out of the ground and quite a bit of it. That is gorgeous. Let's go get another view. Okay, so this is just to show you that it really is coming out of the mountain and out of the ground and not uh, from s somewhere up further because there's no water up there. It's just coming right out of this mountain. I have no idea where it's coming from. But this is more water coming out than I have ever seen. Yeah, time for a snack. What you got there, Dax? Beef jerky. You do know that Bigfoot loves beef jerky. And he can smell it from 20 miles away. All right, we're heading back down the trail. So far, no sight of Bigfoot. He is very evasive. And I was right originally. This, uh, this trail is from our campsite. It's almost exactly a mile. About a 250 foot elevation gain. Not too bad. Hey! I heard something. You guys hear something? Yeah. yeah. Bigfoot maybe? No. Just Dax throwing rocks. Dang it. So yeah, we're heading back down to camp and we're going to cook some hot dogs. All right, we got Griff here cooking us some hot dogs. Ooh, those are looking good, buddy. Those are almost ready. Woo! Okay, after some strenuous Bigfoot hunting, we're having some lunch. Got some hot dogs and uh, Doritos and cherries. This is looking pretty good. So, gonna have to try this grilled hot dog. Compliments a griffin. That's good. Good job, Griff. Okay, you didn't think we were going to finish lunch without some sort of treat at the end of it. Well, look what we got. A nice fat boy ice cream sundae toffee crunch. And have us a taste. Mm. We're roughing it.
Well, we safely made it down out of the mountains and we were unsuccessful in our hunt for Bigfoot. He is still on the loose and he's presumed to be harmless and unarmed. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And make sure you all subscribe. And we'll, we'll catch, catch you later. later.